primary and secondary data, relevance, accuracy, validity, and reliability. So primary and secondary data refer to sources of data, essentially where data has come from. So when we are trying to collect data for a specific purpose, we obviously gather it from a variety of locations. So with primary and secondary data, we're determining where those locations are. And what we're going to do now is distinguish between what those two categories of sources are. So Firstly is primary data, which refers to information collected directly from original sources for a specific purpose. So you are developing something new, you go out and actually go to actually get the actual data from your target audience or you conduct experiments yourself all right, and gather that data firsthand. This data is typically gathered through methods like surveys, experiments or interviews and tailor data collection to the exact needs of the people doing the research or doing the development. This is in contrast to secondary data, which is information that has already been collected by others and often for a different purpose, though is available for reuse and is of relevance to others working on their own projects. So this means using others research, which they might have uh, published into books or posted onto websites and using that data in your own context for a project. And that's been done for many years because obviously research takes time. And so when someone's already gone out and done analysis of certain situations that are relevant to someone's context and made that available, and isn't it great we've got the internet that we can find people's research so easily well that's of great benefit to anyone doing any type of development so these secondary forms of data they come from areas such as books reports or websites all right so what we need to understand here is while primary data is usually more relevant and specific to our needs okay secondary data is easier to find and faster to obtain okay making it easier to get started kind of gauge the information that is out there so in a project, it's likely we could use both forms of uh, data. Okay, we do our own research and get our own primary sources of data. And then we also see what others in the field have done as well and look at their secondary data as well. So that's that distinguishment between primary and secondary data sources. So now we're going to look at some factors that relate to our sources of data and how meaningful or useful they might be to a project that we are developing. And the first area is that of relevance. And this is how applicable data is to a specific project. Data should align with the objectives to ensure a meaningful analysis. Okay, so the data that we collect, okay, it is relevant to what we are doing. All right, and if we can find secondary sources that are relevant, that's great. But if not, then we might have to conduct research ourselves. So in an example, okay, a sales company could, could be looking at their specific customer preferences, okay, in order to calculate their sales data. Okay, looking at customer preferences is relevant. We can actually track what they've bought, okay, as a metric of assessing, okay, what customers buy and planning based on that. But then looking at weather data that happened on the day these sales took place would be more irrelevant, okay, unless there was like some major storm that prevented people from shopping, okay, it's not as relevant, okay, to tracking sales data, okay, so make sure that the data sets we look at are relevant to the context of what we are doing. The second area we'll take a look at is that of accuracy, the extent to which data is free from errors and accurately represents the real world context it is measuring. All right, so we've got data that is correct. Okay, so whatever data source we've getting to our, our own collection or from a secondary source, okay, we are making sure that that data is correct and in the correct context of what we're using it for. The reason, once again, that we might use combinations of primary and secondary data here for, is for purposes such as cross-referencing. When we cross-reference, we are looking at our references against each other, and that helps either validate or show us that factors might be incorrect and we need to do further research in a particular area. And that's all to assess accuracy. Okay, and an example here could be financial reports, which require precise numbers that reflect accurate data. If you type something wrong into the, our actual finance package, okay, the numbers that will come out of the system will be incorrect. All right, so other things that can support in that context are validation and verification techniques to ensure that data is correct when being entered into a system as well. Okay, so that all relates to accuracy. The third category is that of a validity. Okay, valid data accurately represents a scenario being analyzed in a correct context. Okay, so 
the data we've got, okay, while might seem relevant, is it in the appropriate scenario context for what we are going to use it for? I could use research done in other parts of the world and want to apply it to something I'm doing in my own country. But factors such as socioeconomic statuses and the ways currencies and finances are spent and what is the general business that occurs in that, those countries related to manufacturing, it might not be relevant or valid that data when applied to my own scenario. So while seemingly relevant, okay, it's not valid. So an example here could be a survey intended to measure customer satisfactions. In order to get valid data, well, I need to make sure that I get actual customers who've come into my store and they're aware of the purpose of the survey. So that shows validity. I'm actually getting valid data from an appropriate source. Someone's actually had the experience coming into my store okay, and using our actual services when they came in. So that's how I get validity. Okay, It is relevant to the correct context of what I'm trying to get the data for. The final area is that of reliability, and this refers to the consistency of data over time. Reliable data produces the consistent results when collected under similar scenarios or conditions. So whatever method I use to collect data, if I went in a week's time, in a month's time, or in a year's time, and applied that same method, would I still bring in the same results? And if not, why? Now, there could have been changing circumstances on my target audience or target group that I was assessing, but the same factor should bring consistent results. So it should reflect a pattern if the way I'm getting data is correct, meaning my results are reliable. It is very common that uh, data will change over time. And that's a factor and a reason that we do have to continually reassess our research and see how ongoing patterns change. But is the data going to be reliable over a long time? And if not, then how often do we need to reassess and go out there and, and then engage with primary sources of data once again? So an example could be a scientific experiment. Okay, often in science, they repeat experiments over and over and over again. And they'd want to be producing, if on the exact same scenario, the experiment should yield the exact same results if the context is always the same. That will ensure that the data they have obtained from the experiment is reliable. But if each time they do an experiment, the outcome is completely different, well, there's an issue there. Those results are not reliable. So we need to get consistency in our results. And yes, if context change, then results will likely change. But if under the exact same scenarios, in order to be reliable, our responses should always be the same. So I hope this video is giving an understanding of the use of primary and secondary sources of data. As said, primary sources of data, where we go out and get the data ourselves through surveys and experiments and interviews, and then secondary forms of data that can be useful to our research, okay, which can be obtained through texts, through reports, and through websites where other people have posted or published their actual information in relation to their own research that may be relevant to our own scenario. This is great because we can cross-reference both primary and secondary sources against each other to establish relevance, which is one of our key points here uh, in relation to getting data sources, how relevant data is to our specific purpose. We also need to maintain accuracy and have tools in place and use strategies okay, to ensure that data is free from er errors and uh, uh, correct to the real-world context it is measuring. We also need to validate our data too and ensure that the data we're getting is from appropriate sources that are relevant to our scenario. And then finally, the reliability of data. The methods that we are using yield consistent results, whether based on the exact same situations where we should get the same results or changing slightly over time, but our methods are still correct in getting that data, okay, that it gives us reliable, consistent results. So I hope this has helped you understand primary and secondary sources of data.